Hey guys, welcome to the next video of Tablet Tutorials and in this video I will going to talk about how you can create uh, some simple visualizations within the Tableau system. So in the previous video you have seen that how you can uh, import the data from the Excel and now we will going to use that data here in this sheet and create the visualization. All right, so one of the very simple way is just select the fields. So maybe let's say for example, we have product name, or well, let's take product category because it has a lot of values. So product categories and uh, let's say order quantity. So we are interested in knowing uh, by each product category, what is the order quantity. So I have just put the control after selecting product category, control button and I selected order quantity. And now I can drag both the values over here and it will show me that within the furniture what is the order quantity within the office supplies and within technology the respective product uh, ordered quantities let's say if I want uh, other measures uh, but before I do that very quickly I want to show that within the rows uh, you have the product category so this is a shelf basically what they call uh, within the row shelf you have a product category and here within the mark shelf you have a sum of product quantity uh, as a measure so after this if you want something in columns which will make it more of a pivot kind of a structure so let's say order priority if i want it in a column it will show you pivot kind of a structure as i mentioned that within the critical order priority what is the quantity within the high order priority what is the quantity within the low what is the quantity all right so let me take it back and uh, if i want to increase the number of measures apart from the order quantity uh, let's say if i want to know sales if i put it anywhere in the blank space nothing will going to happen so i will have to put somewhere here and it will show you order quantity and sales uh, let's say we want discount on orders Oops it's probably not right <laughs> that should not be the discount but we'll correct it and uh, let's say uh, we will have profit what's the profit uh, let's say unit price and this is basically the unit for unit price all it's as you can see is aggregated over here and if i want to change the aggregate let's say i want to see the average of unit price i can click here go to measure and click average and it will show me the average same is the case with sales and, and as well with other dimension all right so that's that's about uh, how it happens uh, over here and here in case of some let me take the average and probably now it will show you the right value so that's how you can create a very simple visualization the matrix uh for within that visualization and uh, within one sheet uh you can create one visualization so if you wanted to create uh, something else or some other visualization you can go into the new sheet i just clicked over here and go to the sheet and it will create uh, give you the option of creating a new visualization so let's say uh this time i do not want to select the fields and put it over here but here i want to use this show me this visualization and uh, basically select this but to select this i need to enable this and to enable this i need to select at least uh, one dimension of measure so let's say order priority and uh, sales and now you can see that i have some charts is enabled so i will choose the bar chart and as you can see some of sales is coming but i want this by order priority and as you can see now we have the bar chart right uh, if i want i can further uh, make it a little bit different by removing the product category remove and if i want uh, here product category it will show me the sales by product category now if i want to add the order priority i can do that and it will show me in each product category what is my order priority and then uh, you can do all of those sort of things but uh, let's try and uh, change the visualization a little bit 
and if you right click and want to see the data background to this you can see the data over here which will be sometimes very helpful and you can export it also if you are interested in showing not in a horizontal fashion but more on a vertical fashion what you can do is you can use this option which is swapping the rows and columns and it will now show you in a uh, vertical fashion if you want to sort it you can sort it uh, let's say i want to sort this one here as it is saying ascending by sales and descending by sales so in each of the category it is going to sort the sales information for you and uh, that's how easily you can do it all right now let's go a little bit advanced so what we have is the sales by product category and order priority and let's try to see within the same visualization how the profit is coming up for these sales so we have the profit over here and what i'm going to do i'm selecting this and i will drag it down i will drag it down to color and as it is mentioned over here uh, this is the yellow sign is basically indicating the least profitable one and the bluest sign the with the dark blue color like this it is showing you the most profitable category here in this case what you can say is uh, by looking at this visualization that within the technology uh, the low priority orders are the most profitable one because you are earning most profit on that and same is the case with the medium order so you this is more of a sum of profit but if i want to change and say let's say average profit how it is coming up average and you even in that case this category is good but this category have gone down because as it is mentioning the by changing the color that the when you are looking at average this profit is going down so with the help of uh, the colors you can really make some very meaningful uh, decisions or uh, very meaningful understanding by looking at the data because if you will just remove this and see this it doesn't tell you much until unless you have some way to tell okay out of these categories where i really need to focus more and once you once somebody needs to focus it should be profit profit then where here in this case it is a critical one and it is a less profitable all right should i really go ahead with this or not so that kind of things uh question tableau basically helps you ask when you are really creating innovative and meaningful uh, uh, visualization by using it these capabilities so like this if you have the requirement of creating any other visualization you can just go ahead and create the next one and uh, just simply add the visualization uh, by going here you have pi you have uh, together different types of visualization I have, I have a plan to cover it in a different videos but uh, that's that's the way i mean it's simple just select keep selecting the dimension and measure and it will uh, give you the option of which which visualization will going to uh, help you for these dimension and measure also as it as it is mentioned for pie chart you have the down there you have uh, you need to have one dimension and one or two measure so let's say um, here customer segment and uh, sales this is enabled now i can just simply click over here or here or here or here it will give me the related bar chart or pie chart any other chart which is enabled so that's that's pretty much all i wanted to cover the basics of visualization about how you can very simply go ahead and uh, create the visualization within the tableau and uh, start up and running with this and uh, make your visualization beautiful all right i will meet you in the new video with some more visualization till then thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe for getting these videos directly in your inbox